Julius Hovire, ON, DSSRS. And I come from a one federal constituency, Edo State. Uh, 25 years of, from broken democracy is definitely something to celebrate. Like the police normally put in their station, if you hate the police or you don't like the police, try talks and see the difference. If you think the democracy is not perfect, it is not the one you were dreaming about, it is not what we expect to be, uh, get a taste of authoritarianism, dictatorship, and fascism, and you will know that what we have is setting a road path to a better society. Certainly it could be better, but we are thankful that we have this. 25 years has given the legislature an opportunity to grow, to set a tradition, to build history and build leadership, and provide a fertile training ground for training young Nigerians as legislators so that they can contribute while here and outside to the growth and development of this country. Mr. Speaker, many years ago, one Robert S. Kaplan, writing in The Atlantic, wrote an article called The Coming Anarchy. And I think he wrote a, a couple of other articles after that, giving Nigeria's democracy less than 10 years to survive. I think we have disappointed him, and we have also disappointed other enemies of doom, so to put it. Our democracy is growing, it's getting stronger. There are things we still need to do. We need to expand the political space. We need to consolidate our institutions. We need to build accountability and inclusion in the political parties. We need to create more room for women and for young people to enjoy the benefits of democracy. We need to ensure that our democracy strengthens us enough to punish impunity, corruption, and political rascality at whatever level it comes. We've been discussing how to strengthen local governance. This is a task that must be done, and we cannot do it under a democratic system like we have. Mr. Speaker, there's a lot to say that is good about democracy. There is very little to say about democracy that is not working. But with time, I am sure we'll move from just democracy to democratization which is the level where you consolidate the institution structures and processes of democracy and begin to put the people and their institutions, communities, on the driver's seat to determine who governs them, how they are governed, and why they are governed. We are making good progress, and I think that we should continue to work hard at it, and I'm sure that these dividends of democracy that we always dream about uh, will become a routine issue. Finally, Mr. Speaker, as we also discuss the issue of constitution amendment, you can only talk constitution amendment or constitutions under a democratic system. We should also remember that we have a challenge in there, which is not just to bring in the constitution of the people, but also to begin to think about building, encouraging, expanding the culture of constitutionalism. That is a level where the people themselves own the constitution and deploy it to defend their individual and collective rights. But to do that, they have to know what the constitution is about. And I think that Deputy Speaker is laying the foundation of carrying every Nigerian along as much as possible. And uh, we should not be afraid of comparative studies of what is going on in other clients, particularly in Africa and the developing world, so that we can enrich the dynamics of our own political processes. I want to congratulate us, congratulate Nigerians, congratulate the leaders of this country on how far we are fed. And I want to pray that they get the courage, they acquire that courage to do things better to benefit the entire country. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.